Alrighty guys, my first movie review of a movie released in 2019, well, guys, here it is. Hello one and all, welcome back to another video on Joseph Reviews, and this time on my first review on 2019, released for a movie for 2019, I'll be reviewing Glass, the third and final instalment of the Unbreakable Trilogy, or whatever you want to call it. It is once again written and directed by Night Shyamalan, and he also produced it. Yep, and it and it stars James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, Samuel Jackson, the three uh, big characters of the movie. And guys, I'm just about to say this. This is going to be complete, uh, 100% spoiler free, guys. I don't even want to mention any plot details until you watch the movie guys so no spoiler comments please guys you are safe here so guys um uh kevin david dunn and elijah price are, are all gathered together by uh the uh dr ellie pled by um sarah paul some, and she tells them that they're not really heroes. And guys, what can I just tell you? Despite what the critics think of this movie, I had a really good time with Glass. And yes, we will get into those negatives soon. But, what can I tell you? There's so much to love in this movie. Like, first of all, James McAvoy is like the standout in this movie. Um, as Kevin, aka, <clears throat> aka the Beast. Um, my God, he does a really good job. Has still all those different personalities. Um, you know, he, he, he is the Beast of the movie. And guys, when um, he's and whenever uh, when the, the scene with him. And David Dunn, played by Bruce Willis. Wow, that was some good shit right there. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Between the Beast and David Dunn. Wow, that is some great stuff there. Oh, and Elijah Price, uh, played by Samuel Jackson, um, is also great in this movie as well. Does an excellent job as well. And... And when also the B, yeah, the, all these characters basically have all met each other, but when they all do, it's great. And guys, the um, the first two acts of the movies are are really really good. Um, some fight scenes in the movie. There's a cut. There's a few fight scenes in there, which are really good. And uh, yeah, the action is well shot. Uh, the cin the cinema photography, um, cinema photography is is great as always. And oh, and Spencer Tree Clark does a good job as uh, David's uh, son uh, Joseph Dunn and Charling uh, Woodward uh, does a great job as um, Elijah's mother as well and yeah guys um when seeing all these characters on and when hearing the unbreakable theme bits of them in the movie yeah that theme is just oh it really hits me love the theme so much yeah the music's really good in the movie i'm not gonna lie But oh boy, guys, here we go. Whenever um, the third act pit, the third act pit, it gets all pretty okay. But the ending, wow, what were they thinking? 
Oh, and here's some more negatives. While I did love, um, while I really did love seeing uh, Bruce Willis back in this movie, I feel like his arc isn't, um, wasn't as strong as his arc in Unbreakable, uh, in my opinion anyway. Um, I just felt like his arc wasn't as art or arc whatever people say wasn't as strong as um, as he was in Unbreakable. But Bruce Willis still does a great job as David Dunn. He really does. And guys, I'm I don't know, but Sarah Paulson. See, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of. Doctor, she was pretty much a villain. Well, there isn't. I don't really see any villain in the movie because I have only seen the movie once. But yeah, she didn't really do it much for me. And boy, the ending, guys. What were they thinking? Like, what happened to Shamalong? What the hell happened? Like, seriously, just really. Oh, and Taylor Joy as um, Amy, Amy Taylor Joy, um, uh, Casey Cookie. Um, she's she was pretty, she's all right in this movie, and she was also pretty good in um, Split. But yeah, that's all the positives and negatives I've really got to say. So overall, guys. Um, um, despite, um, the ending and the other problems I have, I still had a good time with Glass, I really did, um, yeah, um, there are some things I wanted to talk about in there, but those are spoilers, um, James McAvoy is fantastic, so is, um, Bruce Willis, and so is, um, Samuel Jackson, and so are some other people in this movie as well. And so are the action sequences, and some certain scenes of the movie. And just, um, the ending alone just didn't really... It, it wasn't even as close to being good as the first two acts. Because I really did enjoy the first two acts of the movie. But yeah, guys, I had a really good time with, um, Glass. I'm glad it was made, personally. Especially for a Shyamalong movie. Anyways, and guys, and as I would rate um, Glass, I would give um, Glass a 7 out of 10, guys. Um, a 7 out of 10. Yep. Um, I, yeah, I had a good time. Alrighty, guys, that was my review on Glass, and that's my Shyamalong series finished. Yeah, guys, I'm only reviewing, I only reviewed, um, I reviewed The Sixth Sense, uh, Signs, Unbreakable, and Split. Uh, if you want to check out all my reviews on those, um, you'll see them in just a second, in a minute or something. And they're on my channel. Those were the ones I mostly wanted to talk about. The other Shyamalan movies, um, such as The Happening, The Village, and other movies, um, um, I haven't seen all of those, so I didn't really include those. I only included the ones that I'm reviewing, and that's going to be my series finished for M. Night Shyamalan. Comment down below, let me know um, what you thought of, if you've enjoyed my Shyamalan series, let me know below. And comment down below, let me know, without spoilers, what did you think of Glass? Uh, let me know below in the comments. And guys, that was my first review of 2019 for a movie. And guys, look forward to more movies. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. All the social media links are in the description below. Don't forget to click on the notification bell before you leave. And as always, guys, until my next video, I will see you guys then, and peace.